Hello and welcome to video number three in this series. This is our third set in our Panagram series for the students of the 30 Day Spin Serian Challenge. This is the Calligraphy Academy and I'm your host, Ajab. If you haven't watched the videos in this series yet, go ahead and watch video number one and two before you watch this one. Today I'm using two types of tools. The first one is our brush pen and I am using Pentel's Sign brush pen. And the second tool of course is my oblique pen holder with the Nico G nib. Um, in addition to walnut ink, I'm also using Sumi ink. So you can see a variety of inks and tools in this video and you will see how you can write lowercase Spencerian letters for yourself. What are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so for panogram number three, which is our typical panogram that we see everywhere, um, I'm using the green pencil sign brush pen. If you wanna look at the packaging here, this is the one I'm using. Um, again, make sure you get the brush pen if you're looking on Amazon, because I made the mistake of buying the pencil sign pen, which is basically a felt pen, okay? So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, now, again, uh, if you watched the previous two videos for the other two panograms, fantastic. If you have not, I'm gonna give you a quick tip when using brush pens, which is that you wanna use the tip of the brush pen to get a thin hairline which basically means that the more upright your brush pen, the thinner your upstroke. So I've tilted the camera just to show you the side of the pen as I scribe, and here we go in now. When you find yourself going out of the writing zone, pull the paper back in towards you. All right, so there's our brush pen. This time we did green. Now let's move on to walnut ink and our pointed pen, which is our Nico G and an oblique pen holder by Michael Saul. Now, when you're using your pointed pen, uh, especially with a straight holder, which is where you really wanna be careful, that you wanna align the axis of the nib with your slant line, okay? With the oblique pen holder, it's a little easier because the flange does it for you. But if you're using a straight pen holder, keep that in mind.
And now our last one in this set which is Sumi ink. So here we are. One pentagram, three different ways of writing it. Again, a few things to keep in mind. Go slow. There's no race. There's no need to speed up. Take it slow and remember to breathe. Always, always, always breathe. Don't suffocate yourself. And thirdly, your posture. Sit upright, relax your shoulders. Don't hunch, don't stress. Just be calm and relaxed. It's kind of like meditation after all, right? Now, once again, depending on when you're watching this video, our free 30 days Pensieren challenge may or may not be open for registration. If you're in luck and we are currently accepting students for this challenge, check the description below and sign up. However, if there's a wait list right now, then jump on it. Once the challenge is open for registration, I will send you an email and if you're on the wait list, you will know that it's time to register. So what are you waiting for? If you enjoyed watching the video and if you learned something, please share and hit that tiny red button at the bottom that says subscribe. Your support truly and really means the world to me and I would not be doing what I'm doing had it not been for you. So please don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you again.